Good afternoon, you miss me? I miss you guys. I'm so sorry that I wasn't able to come live last uh, week. We were really excited and we're planning to have this interactive thing. And then I was about to do this with some of the preachers of Cavite City. Oh, Cavite province, I should say. But <laughs> the long query in one of the uh, government institutions held us until 6 in the evening. So I'm so sorry. First and foremost, let me just say, magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. May mga malungtay aming kakabsat. Maayong hapon sa inyong tanong mga igsuon. And I'm just excited to continue the OBS. And we are now on our 25th. Listen to that, 25th. We have done, we have gone a long way. I would like to thank everyone who's been giving me feedbacks. Um, those who are wanting to help this ministry, not only by posting it, by sharing it, but for those who are giving me ideas how to make this more beautiful. Others have suggested that I need to buy my new microphone. Others have suggested also that, or others are, are, are suggesting to, to have a, a new phone wherein we could do it better, not using Balong's cell phone because my phone is really acting weird. Excuse me. Others are also saying you should allot time wherein you could read the feedback online. And still, there are a lot of others. Still others are saying you should have things like, uh, there are a lot of things I need to learn. But thank you, thank you, thank you. Everything is being taken, care, no, no, noted, <laughs> I should say, noted. Noted lang po muna sa ngayon, sapagkat um, alam nyo naman ang kalagayan po natin sa ngayon. Kaya muli nagpapasalamat ako sa lahat, lahat talaga. That just shows the, how you love what we're doing and how excited you are and hopefully so uh, I've, I've heard some there are three that says we are starting a new bible study at home the he'll say new obs we're starting new study in in this and i just told them i said just be true or just be faithful to the texts if you remain faithful to the text, no matter what, and that is our first agreement with all of those who were with me when we started this online Bible study. There may be some times that you don't agree with what I say. Be that as it may. And I said, you can still be friends. But there may be some times that it is hard for you to, to accept what I'm saying. But what I am requesting from you is, check this one out. Check it out. Check the book. If it's not in the book, then tell me about it. But if it is in the book, then let's just agree to disagree on this point of time. But we will continue studying the word and we will continue learning and we will continue reading the Bible for all it's worth. Now, too much introduction. Let's move on. Okay. So last week we studied about the establishment of the church. We studied about the Pentecost. We talked about the promise. And there it is. The promise of the Father being fulfilled and the promise of giving this and the promise of the power which is the Holy Spirit. And we have seen that the promise of the Holy Spirit was given to the apostles. And the outpouring, I believe, as it has been shown, that it was not for the 120 but it was outpoured to the 12, to the apostles. Because had it been given to all, they could have asked this, people from all walks of life and from every part of the world could have asked any of the disciples, 120 of them. But no, they asked the apostles so they could hear the apostles talking to them in their own tongue. It's not a known tongue, it's their own tongue, it's their own language. Unlike today's 
claimants of speaking in tongues that they, ju they are just gibberish and you don't understand what they're saying. Although some of them say, oh, one understood it and the other understood it. No, they were speaking in their native tongue that was uh, emphasized in chapter chapter 2. We've seen also how Peter used the key, the key of unlocking the kingdom. He was the first one to open the kingdom by proclaiming this Jesus whom you crucified. God made him both Lord and Christ. And he also was uh, the main guy <laughs> proclaiming all of these things, saying, Okay, repent and be baptized, every one of you, for the remissions of your sins. It's not because your sins are being remitted, uh, uh, forgiven already. Okay, let me just uh, slow down a bit. Okay, <laughs> so let's now move to chapter 3. In chapter 3, there's this beautiful thing, story. And I want you to study it and think of it. As we read along, let's just consider this to be a narrative. Kwento lang. Kwento, kwento lang muna. Walang nakapaloob na mga, mga leksyon o anumang mga bagay-bagay. Kwento lang. Kasi ito totoong nangyari. It happened there. It happened in Jerusalem, it happened, and we will read it as it comes. Now, Peter and John were going up to the temple. See, in the early stages of the church, they were allowed to worship, gather together, sing, and study at the temple premises. The Jews thought that they're just another part of Judaism or probably thinking it's another um, sect of Judaism or a revival or sort of <laughs> something like that. So we could see it now that Peter and John were going to the temple. It was the ninth hour. So if you start from six as the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that nine? Ninth hour. Must be three. Okay. Six, seven, eight. Yeah. Around three in the afternoon. And a man lame from birth was being carried, whom they laid daily at the gate, the beautiful gate, to ask alms of those entering the temple. Seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, he was really waiting for some alms. And these two guys said, look at us. Meaning, look, look what, what we have. Look who we are. And he fixed his attention on them, expecting to receive something from them. But, Peter said, I have no silver and gold. In King James it says, silver and gold have I not. What, what I do have, I give it to you. And here it is. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he started. When Peter held his hands, it was strengthened. And so he lit up his stool and began to walk and entered the temple with them, walking and leaping and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God and recognized him as the one who sat at the beautiful gate of the temple asking for alms. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. Beautiful. I want you to consider this. And I want you to see this. All the people that saw him walking and praising God were filled with wonder and amazement and were wondering what happened to him. Ordinary people recognize him. Ordinary people, people who are, you know, like you and me, 
we have a lot of things. When we see things, we, like, we want to help, but we could not. But if somebody is being helped and somebody is being blessed, look at them. They rejoiced. They praised God because this poor guy, his prayers had been answered. Alam niyo yung feeling na yon? Walang feeling ng himutok, walang feeling ng selos, walang feeling ng dapat hindi eh. Yeah, something like that. But the feeling that they were all excited because they see that it is God working through these two men and this is poor guy's turn to receive blessings from God. And look at this. He came to Peter and John. And all the people were utterly astounded and ran together to them in the portico called Solomon's porch. Okay? And when Peter saw them, Peter just said, Men of Israel, why do you wonder at this? Or why do you stare at us? As though by our own power or piety, we have made this lame guy walk. And he said, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, and the God of our fathers. It is our fathers. It is our God. Glorified his servant Jesus, his servant Jesus, whom you delivered over and denied in the presence of Pilate when he had decided to release him. But you denied the holy and righteous one and asked for a murderer to be granted to you. Oh, sakit nun. <laughs> the source of life was here, yet you murdered him. Nagugulat kayo sa mga bagay-bagay na ganito. Alam niyo ba na yung mismong andito? Yung buhay mismo nandito? Jesus of Nazareth. Anong ginawa niyo sa kanya? Ipinagpalit niyo kay Barabbas. Ipinagpalit niyo sa isang criminal. This is what he's saying. You exchanged him. He could have been released. And Peter said, You ask for a murderer for his place. And you killed, masakit ito. This is ouch. <laughs> and you killed the author of life whom God raised from the dead. You, walang pasikot-sikot, you, you killed the author of life. And to this, we are witnesses. And his name, by faith in his name, that is interesting. And his name, And by faith in His name, <laughs> the I hope I could I could draw things okay. In the name of Jesus, not the authority. By faith in His name, by believing in His name in His authority, if you would like, in His power, by believing in His name, by having that faith in His name, this man. Strong whom you see and know. And the faith that is through Jesus has given this man this perfect help in the presence of you all. It's Jesus. We're thinking it was from our own piety or power. No, it's Jesus. And now, brothers, I know that you acted in ignorance as did all your rulers but what God foretold by the mouth of all the prophets that his Christ would suffer he thus fulfilled and he did suffer by hanging upon the tree so again the same thing 238 repent therefore and turn back that your sins may be blotted out forgiven blotted out that the times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord and that He may send the Christ appointed for you, Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the time for restoring all the things about which God spoke by the mouth of His holy prophets long ago. Oh, time of refreshing. See, 
we can easily know that when is the time of refreshing you can easily appreciate rain if it's too hot or too humid you can easily appreciate comfort if you are so pain or you are so burdened and you're things like that the times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord or because of the presence of the Lord. Everyone wants that. Now let's move on. Moses said, The Lord God will raise up for you a prophet like me from your brothers. You shall listen to him in whatever he tells you. And as they were speaking to the people, the priest and the captain of the temple and the Sadducees came upon them. This is why I said, Note who are rejoicing. When they've seen that this poor lame guy walk, ordinary men from all walks of life, not the religious ones, rejoiced and praised God. Now here comes the religious men, the religious people, the spiritual people, <laughs> the priests, the Sadducees. And those captain of the temple came upon them and, voila, greatly annoyed. Why? Because they were teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection from the dead. You see, the Sadducees, or the sad you see, sad you see, the Sadducees do not believe in resurrection. They don't even believe on heavenly beings. They don't believe on things. Heavenly things. But they are very religious. But they are very strict following the law. But they are very emphatic with their beliefs. So they are so annoyed because Peter and John is talking about Jesus, whom they know they have crucified and buried, but this too claims that he had been resurrected. And he is the reason why this lame man is standing before their very presence. Anong gagawin mo doon? Ang tindi ng laki na problema nila. And they arrested them. And put them in custody until the next day, for it was already ev evening. But many of those who had heard the word believed the power within. The power of what they see, the power of what they have heard, the power of free will. The power of making a decision by yourself. Maganda pag-aaral ito, no? Hindi mo kailangan yung religious people to guide you. Nakita mo eh. Narinig mo. Hindi abstract, concrete. Yung patunay, yung evidence is there. Ano man ang sabihin, lalong-lalo na itong mga religious leaders na ito, lalong-lalo na itong grupo na mga sadusiyo na hindi naniniwala sa resurrection, they will just twist it. But because these people are witnesses, ano sabi niya? Many who had heard the word, pag uwi niya sa bahay, chinismis nila ang nangyari. Look, what happened? Yung lame man doon, yung ando doon lagi sa harap ng bahay, sa bahan, yung ando doon lagi sa harap ng bahay, simbahan, gumaling, naglakad na ng bahay na kasama namin. Ang galing na patutuo yan. Ang galing na, ang gandang news niyan, ang gandang chismis niyan. Dito natakot, and my church leaders, And I don't know why, on the last day, the rulers and elders, scribes, kasama ng mga scribes, rulers, elders, and even the scribes, gathered together in Jerusalem. These are again folks, spiritual or religious people. There it is, patunay, with Anas the high priest. Oh, pati high priest ba naman mangingi alam? And Caiaphas, Caiaphas was a high priest also. Pero, 
Rin tayo doon tutuusin. And John and Alexander and all who were of the high priest family. Naging, naging family thing na ito. Because they know. Ano naman ang mangyayari? Power lang yan. Woo! And when they had set them in the midst, they inquired. Hindi dito na yung Senate hearing. By what power or by what name did you do this? Again, that's why I keep saying the power or authority is there. By what power or by what name? The name means power or authority. Um, faith in the name of Jesus. Uh, you do all these things. Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers of the people and elders, If we are being examined here today concerning a good deed done to a crippled man, by what means this man has been healed, then let it be known to all of you and to all of the people of Israel that it is by the name, power, authority, remember? It is by the name, by what authority, by what name? It is by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you, <laughs> where's that? Uh-oh, Caiaphas can't deny that because he was there. Caiaphas, Ananas, the high priest, whom you had crucified, but whom God raised from the dead. By him or by Jesus' authority, by Jesus' power, this man is standing before you well that they, oh, before you well. I wasn't able to, to take this. So, Peter was emphatic that the power for the healing, the power, the name, the authority, why they're doing this is because of Jesus of Nazareth. And they've seen that these are but ordinary men. I must have taken, uh, when I erased it, I must have included things. These were just ordinary men doing extraordinary deeds. Not Dean here. And the only reason that these elders and these rulers of the people of Israel, the reason that they can just see is that they had been with Jesus. Ordinary men doing extraordinary work just because they had been associated with Jesus. How I wish being an ordinary guy that I could do extraordinary work. Because I had been associated with Jesus. If ever I could be a blessing and this study could be a blessing, it is because of our association with Jesus, because of our love for Jesus, because of our love for His Word, because we wanted to know more about Him. But there was nothing they could say. Why? Because they have seen that these were ordinary men, fishermen, doing extraordinary work just because they had been associated with Jesus. And learned on some other uh, translations. When they saw the man who had been healed standing there with Peter and John, they just told them to leave the council and they talked. And this is what they talk about. Give me 10 more minutes or 5. What shall we do with this man? They ask. Everyone in Jerusalem knows that this extraordinary miracle has been performed by them. And we cannot deny it. And I kept asking, why deny it? And what's the cover up for? Why not just accept that this poor crippled man for the longest time for all his life has been granted his prayers and they can rejoice with him why are they so afraid that the truth comes out listen 
Here's one thing more. But to keep this matter from spreading any further among the people, but ka matatakot na mag-spread out. Let us warn these men never again to speak to anyone in the name of Jesus. They were inquiring by what authority. Now they've known by what authority they're doing this. They were inquiring by whose name are they doing it. Now they have known whose name they're doing it. It's now closing the lead and saying, let's tell them to never speak again about this Jesus of Nazareth. So they called them back. And Peter said, You yourselves judge which is right in God's sight, to obey you or obey God. For we cannot stop speaking of what we ourselves have seen and heard. The same thing with the other guys. They will not stop spreading the news about the healing of this lame man. Let me just go on with, give me five more minutes on this. And so the council just decided that they saw it was impossible to punish them because the people were all praising God for what had happened. Hindi ba napakasamang kwanon? Example, ordinary men, mga common na mga tao, men, unlearned, men, not dignified, were convinced were praising God because of the healing of that crippled man. But those who are in the high society, in the power, elders, captains, scribes, sadducees, religious people are preventing them from praising God. In the regular, they're preventing them from praising God, preventing others to know what God hath done for the crippled man through Peter and John. The man whom this miracle of healing had been performed was over 40 years old. He is old enough to speak for himself. But I want you to see this, brothers. That's why I want to include this. The believers, as soon as Peter and John were set free, they turned to their group and told that what the chief priest and the elders had said. See, when Peter and John told the brethren saying, we were forbidden not to speak about Jesus again. Ordinary men will rise in uproar. Siguro ang bawat isa magpopos ka agad-agad ng pangontra sa pang... sa injustice na ito. Siguro magpopos ka agad-agad sa kanilang mga Facebook. Ano? Siguro hihilingin ka agad-agad ang kanilang mga kasamahan na hey, ibagsak natin ang ganitong liderato, ibagsak natin ang ganitong uri ng pamumuno. Because they're hindering God. But no. This is the power of the brethren. This is the power of the church. When they gathered together, flashback, they remembered. For indeed, Herod and Pontius Pilate met together in this city with the Gentiles and the people of Israel against Jesus, your holy servant, whom you made Messiah. This is part of their prayer. They guard to do everything that you, by your power and will, had already decided would happen. And now, Lord, but listen to their prayer. Take notice of the threats they have made. They never prayed, saying, take it away from us. Take notice of the threats. Take notice of the dangers now. From this day forward, Lord, if they be ordinary men, they will be saying, Lord, from this day forward, remove all of these men and remove all of their threats. No, no. They didn't ask that the threats be removed. They didn't ask for a smooth sailing. They didn't even ask that these people be eliminated or mamatay na lang, umawala na lang. But listen to their prayers. Ang kanilang prayer is, allow us, your servants, to speak your message 
with all boldness. Reach out your hand to heal and grant that wonders and miracles may be performed through the name of your holy servant Jesus. That is the difference between those so-called true followers, true Christians, and those who are just wanting to have their own agenda to have their own interests. Uh, there are some among us, leaders among us, and they have even Facebook pages asking for others to go against this and against that and against this and against that and remove this and remove that. Here's a plain teaching. The power within, the power that we have, is that we've been taught to obey and to submit to the governing authorities. We've been taught, just like Jesus. When Jesus was there hanging on the cross, or when Jesus was being nailed to the cross, there are angels, dozens, thousands, hundreds of thousands of angels are there. Waiting for the signal, but Jesus Himself submitted to the will of the Father. How could I or any other follower of Jesus could not submit to governing authorities? There is the answer for that, and that's why I really would like to include it. Let us go back. Listen. They just wanted God to know about the threats, but they never asked that the threats be taken out of the way. They never even asked that it will be a smooth sailing for the church, for the benefit of the church. All they ask is that, Lord, allow us, your servants, allow me, Lord, allow us, Lord, to speak your message with all boldness and to reach out your hand to heal Use me, I couldn't do it. Use me just a channel. And grant that the wonders and miracles may be performed through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. And then when they have finished praying, the place where they were meeting was shaken. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to proclaim God's message with boldness. And that is the power of believers. And that is the power we have. That's the power within I would really like to thank you. I, it would be uh, something if we could have done it in a classroom setting, or you could, I could hear, uh, we could have some interactions about this. I know there will be some of you asking, why are some of our fellow Christians doing this and doing that and using God? Or... Advocating for something using God. Be true to the word. I'm just an ordinary guy seeing these ordinary things, proclaiming these ordinary things. But I can't help but show what is in the texts and make sure that every one of us could see as we read the Bible for all it's worth, we need to understand the Bible for all it's worth. Again, magpapasalamat po ako. Napakasaya ko po na makasama kayo. Tumakbo po muna ako, tumakas po muna ako sa school. Saglit sabi ko, nakaligdan ko kayong makasama last week. So, hindi po po pwedeng hindi ko kayo makasama ngayon. So, nagpapasalamat ako ulit sa Panginoon at sa inyo. Sana, may pagpatuloy natin ang gawain ito. And, even Balong is suggesting some that we can do this in an interactive way. Pero, tag-aaralan po. Hindi ako teki. <laughs> Kaya, matututo po tayo as we go along. And, um, all of those things that you are suggesting, by God's will, we will do that in due time. And they will all come in due time. Pati yung mic, 
yung mga bagay-bagay, cameras and lightings and things like that. Thank you so much. May the Lord bless you. Please 